I'll be showing you step by step how to embed a YouTube video into your Shopify store if you're using the Don theme. Now to note this should apply to just about every Shopify theme, but specifically in today's video we'll be using Don as an example. So let's start from the Shopify dashboard. From there you want to go to the left hand side menu to online store. Once you click online store this should open up your themes section by default. I can see Don is currently installed as my current theme. From there you want to hit the custom Customize button, which should be a black button saying customize. And now let's go and add our YouTube video and embed it on the homepage. But to start, you'll need a YouTube video. I've just selected a random video on my YouTube channel. And what you want to do is load the URL specifically. And from there, you want to navigate to the share button. Once you click share, it's going to give you several different options on how you can share this video. What we want to pay attention to is the embed. So if we click embed here, we can see the video then we can see a bunch of code on the right hand side. There is some option if you want to enable privacy enhanced, show player controls, or have it start at a specific time. We're going to ignore these for now and leave the show player controls enabled. But what we want to do is copy this text here. If you click on it, it should select all the text. Then you're going to right click and then go to copy. So this will copy what is called the iframe. And this is what we can use to embed the YouTube video. From there, let's navigate back to our Shopify homepage. I'm going to drag this all the way to the bottom here as we're going to add a new section and the final result is going to look like this. So I'm going to remove this for now and let's go through everything step by step. So on the left hand side, we have our homepage selected and you can see we have our existing templates and sections where we want to go to is add section. Once we click that, it will give us several options. And there should be something here called custom liquid. So if we search for custom, I can see it shows up as custom liquid. So if I click that, it should add that to my homepage. I can see it here on the bottom if I hover over it. Now you should have your iframe still copied from YouTube. And we want to paste it in this section on the right hand side. It should say custom liquid and there should be a box here in which you can paste it. I'm going to compress control V. I can see my iframe has been pasted here. And there's my YouTube video. It's now on my homepage. I'm going to add an extra little bit of code so it's now centered on my homepage. Now to note, if you want to edit the width and height, you can see these variables here in the iframe. Let's say I want my width to be 1000 instead. It's going to automatically adjust it there. You do want to make sure that if you're adjusting this, the ratio stays the same. It's going to keep that same widescreen format and not stretch it too much. Now the extra code I want to add is something to center this on the page. So I'm going to press enter here. So I'm going to write left arrow div, then right arrow. I'm going to hit space, add the same thing. But before the div this time, I'm going to add a right slash. Now I'm going to zoom in here just so you can see exactly what this looks like. It's a little hard to see before that. So we can see here I have my two divs. And so I'm going to copy this second div and I'm going to paste it below just so it encapsulates my iframe here. I'm going to hit enter again so it's a little more formatted. And what I want to do to center this, so I'm going to press space. I'm going to write align equals quotation center quotation. So what we've added here is a div and it's going to say align center. And at the bottom it's going to say our closing div. So it's going to surround this to make sure it applies. Now I'm going to click save. I'm going to zoom out to make sure everything looks okay. And I can see it is now centered on my page nicely and that's exactly what I was looking for. If we go and refresh our theme here and I scroll to the bottom, I can see it's now on our page. You may want to move this so you can drag it around to different sections. You can also, if you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of your profit. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one click calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations. You can see how much money your store has actually made. It includes tons of different details, analytics and metrics so you can make smarter business decisions for your store. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest and TikTok as well as many cost of goods sold options. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this low logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below. From there, you can get access to a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. Edit the sizing if you would like as well. So in conclusion, that's how you embed a video to your Shopify homepage. We used Shopify Don's theme as an example. If you have any questions in the comments, let me know. But if you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I'm coming up with new Shopify videos all the time, so you don't want to miss out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.